Yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Slope Podcast. Hey, you know what it is, your weekly podcast on the Sakamichi series, Idol Groups. It's going to be Nogi Zaka 46, Sakura Zaka 46, and Hinata Zaka 46. This is season 5, episode 35. This week we got a, a graduated member news. Kind of rare, but it's kind of a big deal, so I wanted to share it. Uh, we also got some hiatus news as well as some new goods. Uh, but before we get into all of that, I'm one of your hosts. I'm Jimmy, aka Jimu Tweets, and I'm joined as always by my friend and my fellow host. We have Josh, Josh, Mister, Mister Josh Box. I should have I should have kept the uh, the little camera placeholder thing that we have for him into in this thing and the uh, overlay, but uh, I I removed it. Oops. But yes, uh, as you guys can see, it is just me. Uh, there's no Mr. Box this week. Uh, there won't be any Mr. Box for uh, the next month. Uh, he is enjoying a much uh, deserved uh, vacation, I guess. He's still filming content, so he's still putting work. But he's going to be in Japan for the next uh, couple weeks. And then also, I think he's stopping by in Singapore. Um, I don't know the exact date, so don't expect me to dox his itinerary or anything like that. But uh, yeah, it's just going to be me. Uh, this week, uh, we may or may not have uh, another host come on to guest with me for the other couple episodes. Um, but before that, I do want to make a quick announcement. Next week, uh, it is going to be October 31st and when this podcast is recorded on Tuesday. And as you guys know, uh, October 31st in the U.S. is Halloween. So uh, I'm going to be out touching grass i'm going to be out having fun i'm going to be out possibly giving some 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 tricks out maybe some treats we'll see but either way i'm not going to be at my computer streaming so there is no episode next week okay uh that being said though if you guys want to come hang out with me uh you know if you if you if watching this episode has not turned you off from the idea of a solo stream with your boy jimmy aka Jimu tweets uh you can tune in on monday at twitch.tv slash it's jimu uh that's where i stream my my solo episodes or not solo episodes but my solo stream solo content there uh we had some fun this last weekend i i had some online meet and greets with habu mizuho um so chat may or may not have been able to see that only one way you can know only one way you can know okay but uh yeah we we normally stream uh the sakamichi shows that's where i watch them as well as like the youtube comment you know basically all the stuff that we recap during the tv show highlights that's that's when i watch it so if you guys want to you know if the highlights aren't good enough if you want the real deal the whole thing uh come by and hang out uh mondays at 7 p.m pacific time over at twitch.tv slash it's jimu um so a couple of things uh I, I one more kind of house uh keeping kind of topic before we move on to the news but something i i think uh we need to consider uh twitch.tv where we stream the podcast every tuesdays has uh recently changed some of their terms and guidelines and so we are now able to simul stream our video our podcast right so before we we started out on uh youtube live uh we eventually moved over to twitch just because the monetization on twitch was easier for us and uh we we've stayed there since just because the community i think has really blossomed over on twitch.tv but seeing as now we're able to simulcast there's no uh you know punitive actions that would be taken against us upon us if we were to stream on youtube at the same time uh it's something i think is worth considering i i do worry about the youtube community that watches us um now whether that's just because you guys can't make it for the live show and you know you would just watch it on uh you know you would rather just watch it when it comes out on youtube or maybe if you don't have access to something like twitch.tv um, and you would be down to watch it on youtube.com, uh, that is something I don't really know about. So this is a question mainly to the people watching us on YouTube. Would you be interested on watching this show now streamed over the live stream on uh, YouTube? I think 
something we will do is after the live stream ends, it will be privated and then you will have to wait like usual for the uh, published version to actually uh, be in the the videos. But as far as the live, yeah, you can come hang out with us live. We can catch the pre-show, the break in between and the post show. Um, the only thing I will say, though, is I, I don't really have much interest in trying to farm uh, the conversation on both different platforms if that makes sense i feel it's a little bit difficult um unless you know there's a very active youtube chat uh so for the most part i think uh you know a lot of the chat inter interaction will stay on twitch just to you know be completely transparent but yeah if you guys are interested in being able to watch the the pre-show the post-show the break uh drop a comment down below let us know your thoughts but anyways, that is that is pretty much it for the updates. Um, wow, I was I was talking during the uh, pre-show and I was like, hey, this is probably gonna be a shorter episode because I don't really have anyone to banter off of. But I feel like I'm doing pretty good by myself. So we'll see. We'll see if I can keep this going up through the news. But uh, speaking of, let's let's start jumping into some news, shall we? Uh, very rare. It's not a very common thing that we cover uh, graduated member news, but you know this one's kind of worth. This one's kind of worth. It's a it's a big deal. Our girl Ikuta Erika, former Nogi Zaka forty six, recent grad, uh, has uh, landed a new role uh, in not just any uh, production. She is the Japanese voice of the the main character asha in the disney movie wish coming out in 2024 um so so proud of her let's go uh so this is this is on disney.co.jp you know straight from the source uh kind of explaining uh you know just basically the the gist of the movie but uh, more importantly you get a little preview video down here uh, so you can click on that. I don't, I recognize that voice anywhere. Alright, but uh, yeah, so if you guys want to hear Ikuta Erika in a little uh, preview of her role, there is a trailer available in the Japanese. Uh, you can check it out on the website as well as on YouTube. Uh, dude, she, she sounds amazing. Sounds so good. I, uh, I'm so, like, yeah, I, I've said it when we first started, I'm so proud of her. Like, I feel this is, uh, such a perfect role for her, right? I think, um, Ikuta has always been, what is it, like, the, yeah, she, she's, like, the embodiment of the, the, uh, the Disney princess in Nogizaka 46, right? So, um. Yeah, it's uh, it's cool to see her get this role. I'm excited to see uh, what other you know, uh, what other jobs this can she can transition to off of this in the future. You know, maybe maybe we can get Disney to redub everything <laughs> with Iguta Erika. Who knows? I would love to see her give me a uh, part of your world, dude. Mm. But anyways, that that's gonna be it for uh, the graduated member news. Let's uh let's keep it pushing. We got uh we got some more uh Disney adjacent news. <laughs> Not quite Disney, but Disney adjacent. Uh over in Hinata Zaka 46. Uh we have our girl Takahashi Mikuni, one of the third gen uh members of Hinata Zaka has landed the role of Jasmine in the uh not Disney version of Aladdin. Aladdin and the Magical Lamp Story. So you can see her in the little promotional image here. You know, uh, look at her. It looks so pretty. Um, sorry, I, I said Jasmine. It's not Jasmine. The character name. The character's name is uh, ba Badu or something. All right. Ba Badu. I, I don't know. I, that's what the katakana says. I, I don't know if I'm I'm reading that correctly. But 
uh, yeah, this is a uh, kind of a rendition of the the popular story of you know a young young thief finding a lamp, wishing a ge with a genie, etc. Uh, etc. Et right. Um, we have a, a comment from uh, Mikuni. You know, uh, rough. Rough Tales of Aladdin, Aladdin the Magical Lamp Story. My name is Takamishi Mikuri from Hinata Zaka 46. I'll be playing the role of Badul. She's uh, very happy to be able to participate in the world of stories that she has known since childhood. Uh, she learned a lot from her co-stars and uh, was able to create a sense of tension and enjoyment. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to watch watch that, uh, you can go over to the website. It's... Uh, ala-st.net a la story right um it's gonna be running from uh november 22nd to the 26th uh we got the show dates here um unfortunately you know you gotta be you gotta be in japan so for us uh what is it uh old folks uh this is uh or not old this us foreign folks Slip of the tongue there. Uh, this is uh, uh, not not for us, but yeah, just uh, stay tuned for that. Only just a little bit over a month away, probably a month away by the time you guys are watching this on YouTube. Okay, let's keep it pushing. Uh, up next, we got some more Hinata Zaka 46 news. We got some goods, dude. We got some more goods from Am I Ready? Uh, this is the 10th single, right? Um, so this is like the second half of the goods. Uh, they, they released some goods earlier. Um, so... Yeah, you can't if you scroll down here, these were kind of like the, the first round of goods, right? We got the oh oh sorry, I just remembered. I just remembered. Speaking of the first round of goods. Uh shout out. Shout out to our boy uh, Llama Herder, or you say Discotech in the Discord. Uh, he he sent this out to me. Uh, much love, bro. But yeah, uh, so that was from the first round of goods. But now we got the second round. Uh, you can check out, go over to their um, online store here. Give it a quick look, dude. Um, Got of course the T-shirts. We got the long sleeve T, dude. Uh, we got the sticker sets, dude. We got the the live strong bracelets. Of course, like the Oshiman towels and stuff, right? Um, Critic sandal key holder. Okay. Uh, Oh, oh, okay. A lot of uh, acrylic stands with a uh, what is that? Like a key ring holder. Uh, right. I'm guessing the key ring holder is the the name part, and then oh no, yeah. The, I guess the acrylic part is a key ring holder, or you could put it on your key ring, right? Um. So yeah, if you wanna if you wanna like pull out Sasaki Kumi anytime you need to like get the whip. There you go. Uh, yeah. Pretty pretty cute. I I think I'm I'm feeling the uh the yellow shirt the most if I were to pick anything, dude. Um the the am I ready to like I I feel like that's a shirt I can't wear as an American. You know what I mean? Cuz like people would be asking like am I ready? Like I don't know, are you? What are you ready for, dude? Um, it's not really a question we go around asking, right? Um, but aside from that, the uh, the at least the, with the fish, you know, people be like, "Oh, that's a cute ass little uh, anime girl fish, dude." So, uh, pretty pretty cute stuff. Um, let's see, if there's any more down here at the bottom? 
Oh God. Here, let me skip a page. All right, now we just got a bunch of like ocean and towels and things like that. Yeah, yeah, this is all stuff from the first round. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the uh, second round uh, of goods. Not bad, considering that, you know, uh, Am I Ready came out kind of a while ago. I'm pretty sure they're going to start uh, promoting some of the content for uh, the album soon, which will be coming out, which we've been covering. Uh, speaking of the album, we've, we've got some updates, some news on the uh, second album from Hinata Zaka 46, Miyaku Utsukanjo. Uh, first of all, we've got we've got the track lists. We got the track list for the uh, new album. So uh, if you scroll down over on this news page, it's going to be 33 songs included. So uh, basically a collection of A sides. Uh, well, a collection of the singles, right, from uh, Kimishika Katan all the way up to, uh, I'm guessing Am I Ready? Yeah, Am I Ready? And then, you know, with some choice B-sides. So, uh, and then here we have the new songs, um, which is basically just going to be obviously the A-side that we got from that. Uh... And then the gen songs. So uh, Chad is asking, Jimmy, people are writing because most of the songs are not new, except of the new album songs and gen songs. What are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I, I think that this is a little bit sparse. I, I This has been a complaint that I've had with uh, a lot of Sakamichi albums. It's very kind of lazy. It, if you've been keep, it, it almost punishes fans who've been keeping up with the A-sides. Right, because if you've been keeping or with a, with the singles, if you if you've been keeping up with the singles, then you do not know like you already know most of these songs. There's nothing new, right? Um, what is it? The uh, the only yeah the only new song that you're really buying is is basically a single. You're you're basically paying for only one singles worth of new songs. But they're charging you like, like fifty dollars. You know what I mean. Um, so I yeah, off the top of my head, I can't remember exactly how many new songs are, are in an album. But I feel like this is sparse. This is a little bit sparse. Um, but even if it wasn't, this is just an ongoing problem, right? Um, but I think yeah, maybe it's just exemplified even more so by the fact that it's just one, like the A side that we already heard, and then the different Gen songs. You know, um, I think for me, something I would expect from uh, an album is at least a few unit songs or something, right? Um, it's uh, it's a little bit wonky because if this is like if you just look at it track track list wise, this is still a very stacked album. Right, um, thirty three songs is is nothing to to like scoff at, but like, yeah, the fact that it's only five new songs is uh is definitely yeah. If I was if I was an Ohisama, I would definitely be um disappointed. Um, like, dude, yeah, this goes back hella far, dude. Seikai Niwa, thank you, got Afurete Yuru, dude, as one of the, the B-sides, which is a banger. Don't get me wrong, but that song is old as heck, dude. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I don't know. Like I said, this is, uh, like, it, it really feels like this, this punishes people who keeps up, who keep up with the, uh, the single releases, right? So it's punishing, really, the, the hardcore fans, because they know that you guys are going to buy it regardless. Like, um, yeah, dude, we got the fish song. Like, it's, it's one of those things where I think if I was going to be listening to this album, I, you know, I, I'd enjoy it for the most part. Um, but I, 
how how should I say this? I'm not lo- I'm not looking at this as like a new album. You know what I mean? Like as a new release, right? This is it's not even a best of because there's some there's some questionable choices in here, but yeah, I I do think that this is uh, this is definitely not an, a Hinata Zaka only problem, but it does it is uh, it is a problem because. It's really I don't know. It's it just really kind of shows how exploitative uh they are willing to be of their fans, right? Because it's like okay, you're you're definitely gonna buy the A sides, because we know we know you know you you guys want your handshakes. You guys are excited about a new release. You guys want to listen to the new songs. All right. Oh, cool. Here you go. Oh, here you go. Here you go. All right. Here's your new album. Uh. It's all the shit we already sold you before, but yo, know, you got two new songs in it. So if you want, if you want to get these special handshake, you better pay. You know, however much. I, I yeah, I think that's my biggest complaint. Um, is the how the total cost of this? Like, if if it wasn't more expensive than a usual album, I'd be kind of like this sucks. But the fact that it's yeah, like double the price, um. As Chad's bringing up, and it's only five new songs, right? Yeah, you know, and of course you have your your extra content like the uh, the live and stuff like that, right? But it's it's still uh, yeah, it's still a very meager offering, right? Um. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, not the move. Definitely not the move. Uh, it does make a little bit does make me a little bit concerned though because I I don't hope I I I hope that this doesn't become the trend, but I can easily see it becoming the trend, right? Because like, oh, okay, cool, we can from from Sakamichi or sorry, Seed and Flowers standpoint, it's like yeah, dude, we can charge you more and give you less, and you'll still pay for it. So it's like, you know, like, why wouldn't they, right? Which, it sucks, because as a fan, what can you really do? You know what I mean? Like, uh, I, I'm trying to put myself in the perspective of this being uh, Sakura Zaka's current release, right? Where, especially for me, as you guys know, Habu Mizuho is graduating. Um, I, I would be so morally opposed to this. If, if Sakura Zaka were to do it, but I would still shell out money for it because I have no choice. You know, if it's between selling my fucking kidney or not seeing Habu Mizuho, I'm selling the kidney. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, oh, he's I'm, I'm, I'm feeling for you. I'm, this makes me very, very nervous for, uh, yeah, it truly is one choice. Um, but yeah, this is making me very nervous for whenever Sakura Zaka announces another album, right? Uh, which I don't, I don't think it's going to be anytime too soon. We did just have Masatsu Kesu. Um, and at the rate that they release tracks, um, unless it's going to be really filled with new songs, which we know they're not going to do, um, I don't see it being anytime too soon. But okay. Let's 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 keep moving. Let's not sink too hard into disparage. We do got some more news coming out from this album. Uh, either last week or a couple weeks ago, we guys showed you the front covers. I think it was uh, last week. Um, this week, we have the back covers for the uh, the the album, the the jacket art, right? So, uh, this, the back covers feature, uh, the Yonki say the fourth gen Hinata Zaka members, right? Uh, I like this trend. If, if we were, I think ideally I would have fourth gen just integrated into the group already and start having them in Senbatsu. But if you're going to not have them in Senbatsu, I think having them promoted on the back of the jacket cover is a nice touch. It is a nice way for these, some of these members to get some, uh, uh, some, some promotion, right? If they're not going to be able to go on music shows and things like that. But yeah, I mean, let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. 
So here we go. We got the back cover. Uh, this this features all the first one features all of the fourth gen members. Then in the type that's for or this is just the uh, promotional image for type A. You have a uh, Kahorin Hiro Honoka as well as Shogenji Yoko. Then for uh, uh, type B, it's a uh, Miyachi Sumire, uh, Kurage, is that uh, Shimizu Ryo and uh, Yamashita Haruka. And then finally, for the regular edition, you have Berina Kishihono, uh, Konishi, uh, Ishizuka, and uh, Takuchi Kirari. All very cute posters. I think. I think for the front cover, I said that I like the uh, the blue and yellow one. I think that that still kind of applies here. I think that color scheme just just really does it for me um i think i think the posing in all of them are very cute i like that there's you know always a couple of excited members doing the arms up pose you know in this case it's a uh, konishi nanami in this one it's a uh, karage and then this one it's a uh, kahorin um yeah everyone's everyone's cute man uh not much to complain about here it's a very kind of straightforward concept but i think it's done well um i do like the uh the label on the back kind of you know matching the uh the luggage tag you get at the airport right just fitting with that motif i think that was kind of a thing i complained about last week the front the the you know the hinata zaka 46 text across the top was just kind of plain so uh it's nice to see them do something a little bit interesting with the label um yeah uh very cute but that's not the only thing uh, obviously the back covers features 4th gen, but as we talked about, there is also a 4th gen song from, uh, Hinata Zaka 46, and we now have the formation for that. So the title of that song is going to be called Rock Climbing, and, uh, it features Honoka Hiroa at the center, along with Kao, uh, Fujishima Kaho and Shogenji Yoko, uh, in the front, so it kind of explains that that type A, you know, back cover with those with the three of them, right? It's gonna be your three front members. Type B has the second row, and then the regular type has the back row. Um, plus Kishi Honoka, who is absent, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I I'm very stoked on this. You know what? Chat chat gives me a lot of shit for being a a bad oh he not not Hoisama, but a bad Hinata Zaka fan. Which I get, you know, I don't follow them as hardcore, but I do, I feel like I have a decent feel. I Have I not said that I feel like Honoka, like Hirao Honoka has been on the come up. I feel like she's been getting some more features. She's really made herself stand out on the show. She's got very strong talking ability. And, uh, you know, here, here she is in the front, dude. Here she is. Um... Uh, so definitely very, very, uh, cool to see. I think she's growing on me as far as, uh, Sakura Zaka 46 Yonki say, uh, like I said, uh, on, on their variety shows, I feel like she's probably out of fourth gen, the, the best as, uh, as far as, uh, talking to the camera goes. Um, so very cool to see. Um, I, I do appreciate that fourth gen Hinata Zaka is doing kind of a similar thing with, uh, Nogi Zaka fifth gen and hopefully Sakura Zaka third gen follows in the suit where they've been, uh, rotating the centers, right? Um, I, I really think that that's the, uh, that's, that's the move. That's the move, right? Um, first we had, uh. What is it? Shimizu, Shimizu Ryo, right? With the uh, blueberry raspberry. Then we had uh, Shogenji Yoko with uh, the Sila Kanth song. And then, uh, what is it? After that was Kahorin with the, uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of the song, but it's the uh, the it's the it's one that makes me think of Rootin' Tootin' Cowboys. Dun, 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 dun. Right? And now we have Honoka with uh, Rock Climbing. So cool. Uh, 
I'm curious to the people watching chat as well as everyone on YouTube. Who do you think would be the next center? If you were to pick a, a, a center for the next fourth gen track, who would it be? Um, is it just out of bi pure bias or is it someone you think is on the come up? Let us know down in the comments below. Um, if it, up to me, I'd like to see maybe uh, Ishizuka Tamaki or Kodishi Nanami. I think they're both very cute and bubbly members. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys check that out. Uh, I'm hoping that there'll be a PV or something soon. Uh, if, if we get another one at all, right? Um, you know, hopefully, hopefully by then I'll have a guest with me and we can, uh, you know, we can, we can talk about it with, with the guests and, uh, not just me kind of fumbling over my words by myself. Um, but okay, let's, let's keep it pushing. Let's keep it moving. That's going to be it for the Hinata Zaka 46 news. So we're going to go over into Sakura Zaka 46 land or first bit of news we have from Sakura Zaka 46. It's a little bit sad. It's a little bit, uh, you know, not, not disappointing, but it's not the best of news, but what can you do? Uh, it is, if you haven't already guessed a hiatus announcement, our girl Koike Minami has, uh, gone on hiatus. So, they released a, a notice uh, a couple days after we recorded the podcast last week. Minami Koike, a member of the group, has been feeling unwell and her doctor has diagnosed that she needs to take a break for a certain period of time. Therefore, we have decided to suspend activities at Sakura Zaka 46 from now tomorrow, uh, from tomorrow onwards for the time being and to take a rest. Uh, she will continue to use blogs, messaging apps, etc. based on her wishes and within reason. We apologize for the concern and inconvenience caused to our fans and related parties, but we kindly ask for your understanding. We'll notify you as soon as we have a plan for her return. Thank you for your continued support of Koike Minami. Um, man, the Go Google Translate really struggling with uh, struggling with the the uh, pronouns here. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so uh, Koike Minami is taking a break. Uh Hopefully it's nothing too serious. I, I'm hoping it's just one of those things, you know, she just needs to chill for a bit. Take care of herself, dude. Take, you know, mental health is important, you know, and maybe physical health too. Um, as always, it's the same thing. Uh, we wish her, you know, speedy recovery. Uh, she comes back better than ever. Hopefully her hair is rejuvenated and luscious when she comes back. Um, in a separate article, they did announce that, she, you know, uh, she will not be doing the online meet and greets as well. So for anybody who has applied and won Koike Minami meet and greets, uh, you guys are going to, you know, they'll release information about that later. You probably just, you know, have to go again at a later date. All right. But uh, yeah, she is taking a break from all of those activities for the time being. Get well soon, Mi Chan. I hope you have a good rest at home with your dog. Um, but let's let's keep it moving. Uh, one last bit of Sakura Zaka Forty Six news. It is a little bit light, but you know they they've got their uh their anniversary live pretty soon. Uh, so they're probably you know chilling now, getting ready for that. Shonen Yokyu promotion is continuing on as well. Um, so you know they've been doing music shows and things like that to promote. But uh, Sakura Zaka 46 will perform at the 2023 Asia Artist Awards in the Philippines on Thursday, December 14th. Hey, Mabuhai, dude. Let's go. All of, all of my Pinoy and Pinay buddies rise up, dude. Uh, this is their third international appearance, right, this year. Uh, first, of course, we had the party as well as the Malaysia performance so uh yeah now they will be appearing at or they'll be performing not just appearing at the uh 2023 asia artist awards at the philippine arena so uh yeah you can check that out dude look at them dude all these uh all these korean names that i can't read dude <laughs> but uh yeah it's cool dude you know um oh shoot dude we got new jeans dude um 
very very proud of them uh i believe this is where uh sasaki mire became the running girl right that's a uh, a few years back if you guys remember that um but yeah dude they they really you know i remember way back Oh, that was Mama. You're right, chat. My bad. That's that was Mama. Um, what is it? But uh, I was gonna say I remember. Was it last year or something like that? You know, uh, Sakura Zaka was saying something like you know wanting to be more international, and we all called cap. I def I certainly did. I was like, I'll believe it when I see it. Okay, international. But uh, it's really cool to see that they have really been taking some steps to to uh promote themselves uh yeah abroad for example uh yeah we all know that uh the the website if you go to uh sakurazaka46.com uh it's in japanese but they do have the little uh translation tool there so you can you can read things regardless uh you know of what language you come from but they have been one of the things they've been doing is they've just been natively let me zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. Posting in different languages. So, for example, that uh, article we just showed, that was just natively in English. Obviously, it's not something, it's not like a super big, lengthy news thing, but it's still cool, right? So, Sakura Zakra 46 will perform at 2023 Asia Artist Awards in the Philippines on Tuesday, December 14th. Or for all of my uh, Kankoku Jin homies, dude, you can check it out here in uh, Hangul, right? Um, I think if you go to their... Uh, their twitter as well um you know they'll they'll occasionally tweet in uh different languages um let me see if i can pull that up to show you guys it's funny because uh you know the homie tam and, and our friends over at uh, sakuzaka central will quite often uh take tweets from uh sakuzaka 46.com uh the twitter and and translate us translate it for us international buddies um so for a while they would do that and i would think it was sakuzaka central but it's actually um it's a uh, it's just them dude, tweeting in uh in english so uh very very cool to see yeah dude uh for yeah right here we have dear overseas buddies thank you for listening to our seventh single shonen yokyu a lot Thanks to your support, the song has been reaching the top of music charts in many countries. But we're even happier our music is reaching everyone rather than just getting good rankings. We'll keep pushing hard to reach even more people, so please give Sakura Zaka 46 all your support. Man, Tsugai Yuka graduated, Kitagawa Yuri graduated, and they have just been working hard promoting Sakamichi to an international audience. But yeah, dude. Uh, oh, speaking of Tam, there she is. But um, yeah, dude, we got like, you know, the tweet out in Thai and uh, I'm guessing Arabic. I, I can't, I don't know what language this is. I'm so sorry, but uh, yeah, make sure you guys uh, check that out. You know, follow them on Twitter. If you are, you haven't already. Um, but yeah, very cool to see. I don't know, man. I, I feel like the chances of getting a uh, U S performance from, Saku, Sakura Zaka, at least, is feeling less and less copium. Like, uh, I still don't, I don't, I don't think it's anything that's gonna happen particularly soon. Like, I don't think it's gonna be immediate or uh, in the in the super near future. But maybe next year, the end of next year, or the year after that. I think it's very well within the realms of possibility. Um. I'm just hoping that it's going to be is not going to be at a very shitty anime convention that's known to uh, really fumble when it comes to uh, getting visas for their guests. I'm hoping they do something a little bit more legitimate. Um, I mean, if I'm being selfish, I hope they do an anime expo. They don't got any anime songs, but, you know, anime expo is right there for me, dude. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll we'll have to see. We'll have to see, but uh, don't hide the name. Seed and flower could be taking notes. Um, oh, true. Yeah, true chat. They do have that one hunter hunter AMV. Um, if you guys 
I mean, we, we covered it, so I'm not going to go back and show it. But, man, when that came out, I was so obnoxious to my friends about it. I was like, oh, you know, the group that I like uh, did a little uh, AMV for uh, the Hunter Hunter manga. It was on the Shonen Jump website. You should check it out. Um, so... Uh, maybe, maybe, you know, I mean, start over, do be banging, start over, do be banging, but that's going to be it from, uh, the Sakurazaka 46 news. So, you know, that means we're jump over to Nogizaka 46, very light news week from Nogizaka 46 this week. Of course, we covered a, a grad earlier. Maybe I should have slid that down here because it is an Ikuta Erika grad news, but, uh, uh you know, a Nogizaka grad news, but. Uh, you know, we got one bit of news, you know, um, it's, it's getting towards the end of the year, you know, uh, geez, very fast. We only got like just over two months left and, uh, you know, while, while it's important that we enjoy the time that we have now, while it's important that we live in the present, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta start preparing for next year, you know, um, there, you gotta, you know, gotta start writing down dates, making you know, uh, make a note of what important things are. Uh, for example, as I, I realize now, the first Sunday of January 2024 it will be my birthday. The first Sunday of 2024 will be my birthday. How do I know? It's because Inoue Nagi told me. All right? Because we've got the new <laughs> Sak uh, Nogizaka 46 calendars for 2024. You can check it out over on their shop. They got like the real the little acrylic stands, right? You can get like your your favorite member in an acrylic stand, right? Here's an endo version. Oh, shipping available in my country, guys. Would you look at that? Uh, Buy E now delivers to 118 countries and regions around the world. So, uh, you know, it, it is so easy now. It's so so easy now to purchase via Buy E, dude. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, you have these, uh, little acrylic stands here. We have an endo version, very cute. And I'm guessing, you know, you just slide the card for the month in, All right? Um, I don't know, chat. I, th should I get these? I think I kind of want it, you know? Um, the yen is down right now. 20, 2,750 yen. That's, uh, that's only $18, dude. Yeah, I think I'll... See, I was going to say, should I get now or should I get Mao? But I could just get both, right? I'll get both and I'll just have two months up at a time. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of wish that uh, we can get some more previews. But, oh, you got some different, you know. Uh... Oh, sorry. Uh, there we go. You know, some different versions. Oh, you can stand the different members on it, dude. Maybe... Maybe I'll get the, uh, maybe I'll get a big cocky one and get like a little Ioki and a little now, now, huh? That might be cute. Yeah. Yeah. Do a little setup like this. You know, the, the possibilities are endless, you know? Um, so yeah, you can buy the calendar and then you can also buy like, you know, the different types, right? If you want to, it's a 1250 for, uh, what is it? The individual, uh, just acrylic stands. So that's going to be like a little bit over $8, right? So there's an ABCD version, or if you want to spend 4,600 yen, uh, that's, uh, going to be $30. You can get, uh, an entire four pack of a, of a specific member. Right. So very cute. I I'm, I'm really thinking about this. Hmm. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Especially now that Bai has made it so easy. But, uh, yeah, good point, chat. Uh, at least they aren't making you gotcha. So you can get all the standees you want. And you can get precisely the amount you want. So if you only want the calendar of your favorite member, that's all you have to get. If you only want one acrylic stand of your favorite member, that's all you have to get. Don't feel forced or pressured to buy a bunch hoping that you can get the right one. Um, so actually, that's not too bad, you know. Um... $30 for the, the pack of four 
and then a calendar. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think that's the move. Um, I say as if you know, uh, if it, it's not going to be double for me because I think I I have to get both kids. You know, um, I I don't want them to come home. Long long day at work. Hey kids, how are you? How was uh how was practicing for uh birthday live? And like tired papa. How wait. Who is that? Why do you only have one of us on your desk? And I'll be like, You're equally important to me, but I could only afford the one. Alright, I can't do it. I can't do it. So uh yeah, we will see. Uh very cute. But uh, that's pretty much going to be it for the Nogi Zaka 46 news this week. Like I said, very light news week. Um, but you know what that means? That means we're going to take a quick break and then we're going to be, or we, Sag. I'm going to take a quick break and I'll be right back with the TV show highlights and the highlighted comments of the week. And we're back. Hey, you know what time it is? It's time for the TV show. Oh, no, TV. It's time for the highlighted comment of the week. It's part of the show where we go back and read the comments that you left on last week's episode. Uh, thank you guys so much over on the YouTube side of things for dropping your comments. Uh, it's always very much appreciated. Um, so let's start off with uh, the first one. The first one is going to be from... Uh, Insomnia Forever 6444. As expected of Sakura Zaka 46's Shonen Yokyu live performance on a music TV show, M Live, was simply captivating. Morita Hikaru presents confidently. Her dance movements and expressions are so effortlessly cool to watch. It's like watching any artist or athlete at the top of their game make it the difficult look so damn easy. The opening with Taniguchi Ari and Yamatsu Shizuki seated works superbly and sets the mood. I can't praise the choreography enough. And the executions by the members is 10 out of 10. Um, yeah, I will say Shonen Yokyu, the choreography is very good. I think uh, the performance is very good. I'm still not super sold on the song in and of itself. Like, it's mainly just the verse, right? The chorus, even the intro is cool. The chorus, the pre-chorus, just the verse. Um, but the... The performances I've seen of it, uh, I haven't watched the this one that you're talking about yet, but uh, they did do a studio version on uh, Sokosaku that was very good. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys give that a watch if you haven't already seen it. Uh, next comment is from Handong is too cute 9709 Really enjoyed the Endo Sakura and Ten Chan collaboration. Hey, we'll talk more about that in a little bit. Two very watchable episodes, and I'm hoping there are more to come from different members. Is there any news regarding Kakehashi Sayaka? I miss her. I think I think we all do. Um, I think Sayaka is one of the hiatus, uh, hiatuses that makes me the most concerned because it's uh, th there's just so much we don't know about the present situation, right? But no... To answer your question, no, I don't think there is any news. Uh, there has been any news for a while regarding her, but uh, hopefully we get some kind of update soon. Um, you know, I think I think the closest thing we've gotten is some members have 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 mentioned you know going out with her or seeing her in their personal life on via blogs or by nogi mail. Um, she was at the uh, the dome tour, at least just attending. So, uh, there's that. Hopefully she's doing okay. Um, you know, but my biggest thing is if, if it is that severe, I hope she takes her time recovering and, uh, making sure that when she comes back, she's ready. Right. Um, but I, people have said this in our discord and I'm inclined to agree. Um, I do think that there's a good chance of her coming back just because, if she were to graduate from this, I feel like it would have happened already and not after a prolonged um, hiatus, right? So, uh, the fact that she's she's still on hiatus, to me, leads me to believe that she wants to come back. So, uh, you know, just we just gotta wait for her and be ready to cheer her on when she comes back. As far as the uh, collaboration goes between uh, Sakurazaka Channel and Nogizaka Haishinshu, I think that that was some peak 
Content. Was it particularly interesting? No. Did it have to be? Not at all. Uh, it was very comfy. All right? I think that's the, uh, the right way to put it. It's just, you know, it's like one of those watches where you don't have to be super uh, focused on what's going on. Uh, you know, they're not talking about anything super crazy deep, right? I mean, the, you know, you have some, you know, you have some conversation still, you know, it's just stuff like, oh, dude, you know, um, it's a very sad graduation time watching our, our senpai that we looked up to go and things like that. But for the most part, you know, it's just very comfy, very cute, uh, enjoyable watch. Uh, I'm, I said it before and I'll say it again. Uh, if we're gonna do some more crossovers, I better get Shogenji Yoko and Ioki Mao. All right, that 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 collab is already there, right for the taking. Just take it, seed and flower. Okay. Um, next comment from Desert Raven Gamer. I completely agree on Twitter's new format. Thank you. It is terrible for some reason. I think it. I really for some reason it thinks I really need to see cat and dog bot videos with my wanted stuff. Anyways, I watched the Saku-chan, Ten-chan collab videos. They are really good. Very sweet, cute. Although there was no explanation why those two were chosen. Are they friends? Also, are the Sakurazaka MV, it was really good. Great song, great video, but the slaps, not needed. They should have just had the initial Habu Pwn slap and then Pwn Habu Caress. That would have been enough in my opinion. Um... Like I said, I, I don't think the problem with the slaps is is the slapping itself. I think it's just the direction. I think it's just, um, yeah, you, you, you can't, they're, they're trying to do, the way I was trying to describe it to uh, Boy when we linked up uh, last week was uh, they're trying to do the, the K-pop drama slap, right? It's always like there's, or K-pop drama, the K-drama slap, right? It's like the... Uh, there's the setup's always the same. It's some very poor but earnest, hardworking, beautiful girl as the protagonist, and the love interest, the main love interest, is the rich guy who used to bully her, but then they actually fall in love, right? And and he's from he's like the heir of some fucking crazy CEO or some shit. And then when she finally meets his mom, his mom disapproves of her because she's not from a well-off family and she wanted him to get with some more well-off girl and she gives her that slap, right? That's the slap they give. It's the like, <laughs> right? And then they're, they're, the way they react to it, it's also just, <laughs> right? It's too dainty. It's too dainty. It's not believable. It looks silly. I'm just saying, they don't actually have to hit each other, but just have someone cock back and just, just yeah, you know? Um, I, I feel like that would have that would have sold a lot harder, um, you know. Especially Kiyaki Zaka loves drama, so the 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 fact that they didn't lean into it, into it is a uh, what is it? Just a uh, it's it's a very it's a waste. It's a waste to have them not go full drama, especially for a Kiyaki Zaka. Oh, sorry, for a Sakura Zaka um, track. All right, this is from. Uh, djbt2718 oh i wonder who this person could be no nah, i'm just kidding regular chatter thank you for leaving the comment as well much appreciated can i go on with a sakamichi series that is 10 out of 10 idols and 5 out of 10 songs indefinitely probably but to be honest there are a lot of idol groups that are more consistently vital on the music and production front for me personally they have the budget and media connections i don't know if they're just trying to play it really safe or what but the things be getting uh, but the things be getting definition of mid over there. The world, uh, WT, Egret, Nantiara, Idol, Meme Tokyo, Task Have Fun, Guilty, Guilty, Peel the Apple, and Equal Love all had better songs the same week the single drop. I'm just saying, they can't be playing it too damn safe. See, as a fan, I agree. And I, okay, don't get me wrong, I'm never gonna go to bat for Seed and Flower, but I'm just saying I can understand why they do it the way they do it it's because they yeah they there are they are playing it safe right because they know they're gonna sell regardless they're not trying to uh reinvent any wheels and as a fan it's very unfortunate because um you know you you get these b-sides where it definitely seems a little bit more inspired and you were sitting here like why isn't this the a-side right they already made the song uh, if we're talking about Shonen Yoku specifically, you know, um, I would have loved to see Manhole No Futa No Ue be the uh, the A side 
even uh, Bokutachi no La Vie en Rose. But that's just me being a simp for Habu. But, you know, um, hell, even some of the individual PVs from the third gens were better tracks than uh, the A side. So it's, it's really unfortunate that they keep playing it safe. But, um, you know, it's because they know they're not really trying to sell a song here. They're just trying to sell something. Uh, they're they're selling handshake take tickets, and they're they're just trying to sell something that they know uh, will look cool, and uh, be passable when they do it on music shows. I think that's really it. Um, last comment. This one's from the DC Cruise eighty nine twenty six. I didn't care for the excessive slapping scenes in the latest Sakura Zaka forty six MV. Otherwise, aesthetically, it was wonderfully shot. The shot the song is just average for me, which is disappointing given the role they have been on. I much prefer the title song and the third gen song over this one. Um, look, it's okay to be wrong. <laughs> uh, that's interesting. I, I, I don't find most people liking uh, the A side over anything, but you know, if, if you like it, I can see why. Um, I think Skima Kaze Yo is definitely the, the kind of definition of generic sakura zaka track right um it's very the kind of sound you would expect from sakura zaka musically i think i think where the song really is good for me is uh lyrically message and uh i think it's definitely something if you take it as a package with the pv it's a lot more successful i think the pv does a great job of conveying the message of the song um but yeah, I do agree. It's it's kind of it's kind of sucky because like you know if if the slapping was just a little bit uh a little bit less uh, wonky, we've already talked about that enough. And if the song itself was a banger, this could have easily have been one of uh the the better tracks to come out of Sakura Zaka in a while. But uh you know you you fall short on some key areas and you're kind of left with just mid right. But uh. Yeah, that's going to be it for all the comments. Thank you guys so much for leaving your comments on the episodes. It's always very much appreciated. It does a lot to help us with the algorithm. Um, so please continue to do so. Uh, drop a comment for uh, this episode as well. Let us know, you know, what, what fourth gen member from Hinata Zaka do you want to see center next? Uh, are you guys hyped on uh, Sakura Zaka's uh, international foray? Where would you like to see them perform? Um and uh, are, are you guys going to be a weeb and look for the Japanese version of Wish 2024 coming out from Disney so you can hear Ikuta Erika's beautiful voice? Let us know in the comments down below and let us know if you think that we should do the live stream simul streamed over on YouTube. Or would you rather just wait and watch the finished episode over on the YouTube channel? Uh, your comment means a lot. It will go. It will help us quite a bit in the decision making. Uh, but... Yeah, that's going to be it from the comments. Let's move on to uh, the TV show highlights. So as people have been bringing up, obviously this week was the Sakura Zaka channel and Nogi Zaka Haishin Chu collab featuring Yamasaki Ten and Endo Sakura. Um, so you know I watched both of those, right? So the Sakura Zaka channel had uh, Ten Tabi. Right, and the Nogizaka Haichin Ch Chu channel had um, Sakura Sampo, and so you know, features kind of different parts of the date, date the the hangout. Right, um, I don't think there's particularly a chronological way to watch it. I watched Sa Ten Tabi first, and then Sakura Sampo. I think. An argument could be made for the other way around, but whichever way you watch it is fine. But uh, very, very cute. So they went on a trip to Okinawa. Um, I'm going to kind of talk about this as if it's one video because uh, I can't remember which part it was which um, or which conversations happened where. So bear with me. Um, but yeah, this is their trip to Okinawa. You know, they went and had some... Uh, some Okinawan food, right? They had some some tacos. Um, had a, you know, they went to the beach, went uh, paddle boarding, 
went to their hotel pool very nice hotel suite that they got dude uh chat was joking about how you know it's kind of it's kind of messed up meanwhile over on hinata zaka channel morimoto marie's paying for her own kakigori out of pocket but but you know they're gonna they're gonna give uh sakura and tenchan the this nice ass hotel kind of messed up but uh no it was very cute you know um they had their their conversation about you know uh watching graduated mem like members that they um, look up to graduate and it was a very kind of sweet moment i especially felt that just uh you know i'm 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 going through it right now too you know habu will be graduating in uh in a month exactly one month from now habu will be graduating so uh you know i was i was with i was with tenchen there dude but it was cute you know she was talking about how you know um what is it uh she she met saito asuka at a uh, Tokyo Girls Collection, brought up. I guess she brought up the fact that she was gonna be hanging out with a uh, Endo, you know. She she's like, uh, you know, Sakura was like, oh, take care of uh, or Sakura. Sai Asuka was like, oh, take care of Sakura for me, you know. And uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Ten Chan was like, oh, you too, please take care of me, right? But in the sense of uh. Kind of like calling uh, Saito Asuka her mother-in-law, you know, that implying that, you know, uh, Endo Sakura, uh, yeah, calling Saito Asuka her mother-in-law implying that, you know, she's marrying Endo Sakura, right? Like, in the way that, the way she says it, it's very, very cute, you know, um, I'm, I'm not sure previous to this if, how close they are, I mean, they seem to be very chummy with each other, but, um, their, their chemistry together was very nice, it, it really was uh comfy you know um just uh you know how they joked with each other how they laughed um i think you know they have very kind of a uh, opposing or i was gonna say opposing but more complementary right different but complementary energies right ten chan is very uh she's like a rambunctious kid right and Endo to me very seems kind of chill, go with the flow. So they they those energies coming together was very, very nice, very made for good watching. Um, see what else? Uh, aside from that, over in the Hinata Zaka channel, you got much less budget. Uh, you have uh, <laughs> what is it? Uh, Hamagishi Hiori going on a little gyoza tour. Look, I've I've said it on stream before. Gyoza is my one of my favorite foods, one of my favorite Japanese foods, and one of my favorite foods in general. And uh, so, you know, your boy's mouth was watering watching that episode, dude. I, I yo, Hiotan, hit me up, dude. Let's go get some gyoza. Show me where the good spots are at. All right. Uh, but aside from that, you know, it was really funny. She went up and. Uh, at the end of the episode, she meets up with her mom and her, her older sister. And, uh, you know, it's just like very three, uh, like a very rambunctious trio of family hanging out together, which I always really enjoy. And it really gives the vibe that the member grew up in a very warm environment. And I always like seeing that. Um, she does some weird gymnastics with her her sister. You know, they do some weird, uh, like, Sabo Ten poses, you know putting their feet up against each other and shit it's it's silly but you know she had a good time uh but that's gonna be it from the youtube side of things so i think that's gonna be pretty much all i watched uh so let's get in besides the regular show so let's get into the regular shows shall we of course first of all we have uh the hinata zaka de i must show this week, uh, they're doing commercials, right? It's just, it's actually a very neat concept, right? The the members have to uh, storyboard a commercial for a product, and uh, you know basically pitch it to Kasuga. If he likes the idea, then they'll reenact the commercial in the studio, right? Uh, I think uh, what is it? Kahorin was like a highlight for me. Right, she did the, uh, it was like for Kaiseki Don or something like that, right? So it was like, you know, she had her senpai members put on like little little fishy heads and stuff like that or, or crab heads and do a little song and dance about, uh, you know, wanting to get that, that Kaiseki Don, dude. You know, shit is good, bro. Um, 
what uh what other highlights were there from that episode uh i'm like pulling it up now trying to scroll through and see some uh they didn't they didn't act it out but you had a uh, katoshi's storyboards and if you guys have ever seen katoshi's drawings before that's all i need to say that's all i need to say she's she's roasting her fellow members in uh her storyboards dude so um you know of course and as well as kasuga uh very funny drawing of kasuga very funny drawing of uh what is it sasaki kumi of course and uh miyachi sumire right um let's see what what other commercial did we oh there was uh the the pokari sweat commercial made by uh kosaka now right actually it was very cute it's like oh uh three three the the sankise members are are all sitting talking right it's uh pario mikuni and uh morimoto marie and then uh you know marie did poorly on test you know she's like oh man fuck fuck mr kasuga dude what a shitty teacher crumples up her test and, and throws it oh sorry it was uh hinano my bad uh thank you chat for the correction it was uh kamimura hinano Pario, Pario wasn't there. Uh, crumples up the paper, throws it. Happens to land at uh, Kasuga's feet. And he's like, yo, what the fuck? Ah, and he starts chasing them around. You know, they, they run around. And then eventually he he tumbles. And he's like, ah. And they're like, oh, thank God. Whew. Man, you know what I need after a run like that? A nice Pokari sweat. And, uh, you know, that, that sold me. That sold me. I love Pokari sweat. Um, yeah, and after that, we end off with, like, a, a, a storyboard for a hair commercial from, uh, Mikuni. I think, I think we'll get the reenactment of that next week, so, you know, next week's gonna be a continuation of that, so stay tuned for that. But overall, very fun episode, very fun episode. Um, let's, let's keep it moving. Uh, up next, we have Soko Magatara Sakura Zaka. Uh, this week is uh kind of a recap of their their international foray uh leading into next week's episode i assume um which i'm very hyped of next week's episode i think they're going to be uh testing their english abilities so you know even with my shit level japanese i should be able to uh, understand this um unfortunately there will not be a tv show recap for highlights for that next week because there is going to be no episode so if you want to watch it live with me just come out to uh, twitch.tv slash it's jimbu monday night and uh, we'll watch that episode together but anyways let's get back to this episode this week uh we have the uh yeah the recap of like their paris foray as well the, as their malaysia one um kind of kind of hard to really uh pick highlights you know because it's just kind of mainly showing images and stuff like that but uh it's a very cute episode uh i think a funny moment was uh what is it kira buying uh, her her cloud glasses which i you know personally i think they're kind of steezy dude i think they're kind of cool she does look cool in them but then they later show a picture that she took of uh ten chan wearing it and they're like damn dude why does that shit look so good on ten chan dude ten chan looking like a fucking model in those glasses i guess you know it's really not the the, the clothing but who's wearing it that matters and and kira's like yo it's fucked up dude. <laughs> so uh definitely very uh very fun very cute episode um what is it uh of course you know they also not just paris they were in malaysia as well um you had uh what is it the uh pictures of uh saito fuyuka wearing the hijab dude you know she was very very pretty dude uh you know it looks you know she looks like a, a very well mannered southeast asian woman <laughs> um no but it seems very cute she, she seemed to have been very respectful and very interested in the culture while I was there there's a bunch of her doing the uh the the you know the hand over your heart kind of bow that they do right uh just a, as a, a show of uh i think respect I'm not super familiar with the culture, so please uh, don't come for me. But feel free to correct me. Um, yeah, but uh, pretty cute. That that's pretty much 
much it. Then we have like you know them playing piano at the the airport being obnoxious and stuff like that. And then at the very end, we have the like I mentioned before, studio performance of Shonen Yoke Yu. Um, so definitely give it a watch. But like like I said, I'm mainly very hyped for uh the the next week's episode. Um, last but not least, we have uh soccer we have nogi zaka koji chu um man this uh this episode i'm gonna say that well it's not like the least entertaining episode it's probably my worst episode this week because it's the only one that made me visibly angry all right um shit's fucking Look, I get it. It's a contest, right? So it's a continuation of last week. You, uh, the, it's, there's three different Nogi Zaka teams versus, uh, one Banana Man team. Uh, they, it's a, an intro song quiz, right? They hear the song intro. They tap in. Whoever gets it first gets to go. They have to name the song. Once they name the song, they have to karaoke. And then the score they get gets added from karaoke gets added to their score. Look, I need I need Nogi Zaka Kojichu chat staff to watch this, uh, to to watch this episode and understand. Nobody gives a fuck about Banana Man, okay? <laughs> and don't I say this as a Banana Man fan, but like, Banana Man needs to be there. As a host for Nogi Zaka, that they're there, they should be there to highlight Nogi Zaka members, dude. Um, they, de- I, don't, I, I think it like not so much Banana Man's fault, but the editing did spend a little bit too much time on Banana Man, and because of that, too much of the emphasis on the episode was on Banana Man. Um, and I, and I don't blame them. They, you know, it's not their fault. The pro, the the episode planning made it a contest. I'm not going to just, uh, you know, if I were them, I would go hard. I would go ham too. You said that this is a contest. I, ne- I never lose on purpose. I always go hard. I always go hard. So, uh, I get it. But as a fan, I do not need to hear banana men sing. Uh, there were some very egregious episodes, uh, ep- moments from last week's episode, like Akai sweet pea going to banana man, uh, secret base going to Banana Man, you know. Um, this week, n- nothing quite as bad as that, but just the sheer number of Banana Man songs that they show and then digest the Nogi Zaka moment is egregious. So, um, yeah, that this this episode actually made me annoyed. Um, and like I said, I like Banana Man. But this is uh this was just a very poorly planned episode. All right. Uh, that being said, if you guys watch this on YouTube, you probably got nothing out of it. All right. Definitely. Even even the thumbnail on YouTube is like if you're trying to hear the karaoke, don't watch this video. All right. <laughs> so you guys are gonna have to look for it on in other places. Um, but yeah, at the end, uh, it was really between uh Red Team versus Banana Man. But they kept fucking each other over, right? Because you can subtract points that you earn from the other team. That by the end of it, neither of them won. And the blue team won. Uh, I was very disappointed because yellow team, where Arno is in, uh, they 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 were terrible. They were trash, dude. Nobody hitting buttons, dude. You know, everybody else is just like... Bah, 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 bah. Meanwhile, yellow team's like... Hmm. So, uh, yeah. Definitely, a, like, a decent idea, but next time, just have Banana Man and MC. All right? That's all I'm saying. But, okay. That's going to be it for the TV show highlights. Uh, so, you know what that means. That means that's the end of this week's episode. Hey, uh, kind of a shorter episode, but you know what it is. You know, it's just me out here. I'm trying my best. Um, but hang tight. We'll have Mr. Box back soon in a month. Uh, like I said, there's going to be no episode next week. It is Halloween. Have a safe Halloween. Uh, be, uh, you know, trick or treat. But trick or treat safely. Don't, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't be reckless. And uh, don't drive drunk. I'm 
most of all. But uh, yeah, uh, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you thought about this episode, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.